A very pleasant good day, my a very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, the Republic Republic of Trinidad and Tobago in the West Indies in the Caribbean in the month of June 2024. Well, we in Psalms 100, we in Psalm 76. So welcome. So without further ado, let the reading continue. If there you all hear a noise in the background, it's because that is um some man is is um they are doing some power wash, power machine in my neighbor yard in close proximity to where I am. So that is the disturbance that is on the other side if you all do hear noise. But looking at the audio, the audio is sounding very fine. But I'll still record the video. The, um, still record this video, in spite of the the noise. I this is a psalm of a psalm of Asap, not David. I cry unto God with my voice. Yes, God wants us, the whole of mankind, to cry unto Him, because God loves mankind. To cry unto him, to pray, to, to praise God, to worship God, to glorify God with my voice, even unto God, the Holy One of Israel, God, with my voice. And he give as unto me. God listen. God listen to what Asaph was saying, his prayers, his concern. And so to God, when we pray to God, the saints of God, the Christians pray to God, he he. He listen. He give us our cry, prayer, supplication, supplication. Hear what we are putting forward to him, and if he is pleased with our prayer, supplication, he fulfill it. He bring it about in our lives, the lives of it, of his people, the lives of his saints. Give us unto me. In the day of my trouble, in my trouble, I sought seek the Lord. My soul ran in the night, and I and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. In his trouble, he see God, and he put forth his his complaint before God, because we seek. We seek. We, we need the help of God. We seek the help of God in, in the problems, trials that we're going through because God is there, have the answer to all man problems. It's in the hands of God. I remember God and was troubled. I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. Sila, thou holdest my eyes walking. I am as an, I am trouble that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, old long times, the years of ancient times, thy past generation, ancient times, yesteryears. I call to remember and to remember in my song in the night, songs that he sing unto God, songs in the night, I commune with my own heart and my spirit made vigilant search will the Lord cast off his cast off forever will he be forever no more yes God will show he will be forever to his people God is his mercy cleanse God cleanse gone forever no the mercy of God enjoyed forever because God is a merciful God and He will show mercy to His people. Do His promise fail forevermore? The promise of God doesn't fail. The promise of God stands forevermore. And whatever God promised, or whatever promise God revealed to His people, God will fulfill His promise and bring about His promise to be fulfilled in the lives of his people because God is a truthful God, God is a faithful God. Had God forgotten to be gracious? No. God is a gracious God and he will manifest his graciousness 
for mankind to the children of men. Had his anger shut up, shut up, is his anger shut up? His tender mercies, no God is merciful to his people. Sila. And I said this in my infirmity, weakness, sickness, that I will remember the years of the right hand of the Mosai. So we have to remember, like Asap is remembering the right hand of God, the things that God has done for his people with his right hand of love, with his right hand of supreme power, with his right hand of power, with his right hand of salvation, and all these things. So we have to remember the right hand of God, the powerful right hand of God, and the things that God has done with his right hand and continue to do with his holy hand, with his righteous hand, with his good hand. Yes, the things that he continue to do, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The Most High God. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember his wonders of all. We have to remember the works of God that is revealed to us in the Holy Word, the historical Bible, the words of God, boys and girls. We cannot forget the works of God because we are seeing the works of God every day. The creation is the works of God, the moon, the stars, the planet, all these things that God has brought into existence are his handy works. Right? Man is the works of God because God created Adam and Eve. We are his creation. The angels are the works of God because God created the angels. The angels didn't make themselves, neither did man make themselves. It's God who brought all these things into existence. These are the works of God. And we always have to be remembering that it's God who brought all this creation into existence. Right? Right? And how God have moved with his people, the children of Israel. Right? So when we read the words of God, we will be reading about the works of God, the creation of God, and the works that, have, that God have done in the past amongst his chosen people, the children of Israel. And we will, when we read these things, we will remember about the works of God that he have done in ancient times amongst the Hebrew people, his chosen people. And, the, and what God and the works that God have done throughout the century to this present time. And what God is doing in this present time. In the church of God, the church of God, through his sins, the church of God, the body of Christ. The work that God is doing to his people all over the world. Remember thy wonders of old. Yes, because God is the God of wonder, as described in, this, in, the, in the book of Psalms. God is the God of, of signs, wonders, and miracles. Because it said during the, in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the four synopsis gospel, it said that signs, wonders, and miracles follow Jesus Christ. Because he is the God of signs, wonders, and miracles. And in the Psalms, David described God as the God of wonders. Because God, he manifests wonders. He's the God of miracles. Signs, wonders, and miracles. And it also speaks about the church of God in the, in the pieces of Acts, where it said signs, wonders, and miracles was following the church. Was following the church of God, the saints of God. God was working his signs and wonders and miracles to his servants, the saints of God, in the body of Christ, in the church of God. In the household of faith, signs, wonders, and miracles. I will meditate also of all thy works. Meditating on the words of God is studying and thinking about His great creation, about the universe, the planets, the laws that He are bringing to existence. We ponder upon these things. We meditate upon all these things, showing you that God has brought all these things into existence by His supreme power. We look at the fishes, the animal, how they are intelligently designed. We look at our own body and see how he has designed us. We meditate upon these things. It shows you by the supreme wisdom, knowledge, and understanding 
of God the Father and Jesus Christ. They have bring these, bring these things into existence. His great creation. So we ponder upon these things. When we look at how God created the angels, He have designed and fashioned the angels intelligently with their wings, the size of the hands, the size of the eyes of the angels. And He have endowed the angels that He have created with supernatural powers. They could walk through all. They could travel faster than the speed of light. Faster than the speed of song, faster than the speed of light, 100, faster than 186,000 miles per second. How God have designed the, the cherubims, the seraphims, and all the angels by His great supreme power, by His supreme knowledge, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So we think about these things, we ponder these things. It tells us about the supreme, eternal greatness of God. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Right, so we meditate. That's what the scripture tell about. We meditate. We think about the, his handiworks, his creation. That God has brought all these things into existence for what? For His eternal honor and glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and that. I will meditate also of all Thy works and talk of Thy doings. So you see, not we should know not only Asap, um, the Psalms. The Psalm of Aesop 77. We should not only talk about the great, meditate about the works of God, His creation, His Sunday works, what He is, what He have done in the past, about His creation, but we must also talk about the greatness of God. Yes, God wants us to talk about His greatness. He wants us to tell others how great He is. What he has done in the past among his people, the children of Israel. What he is currently doing, what he has done throughout the century. What he is currently doing through the church of God. The, his church, the body of Christ. Right? We must speak about these things. And the church of saints of God must continue speaking about these things. And we as individuals we must, who believe in God must speak about these things. I will meditate also of all thy works and talk of thy doings. We must talk about the doings of God, his righteous acts. And that's what they talk about in the Psalms. They talk about the righteous acts of God, the righteous actions of God, the holy works of God, the righteous works of God, the just good works of God, the wonderful works of God, as described in the scriptures. We must speak about these things and tell others about that. And the new generation of people that are born in the world, they must have a knowledge of that by reading the scriptures. But unfortunately, millions of people are born in this world and die. And, 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 and these righteous, and the acts of God, the true God wasn't, wasn't told to them. The wonderful works of God wasn't revealed to them. Because sad, a lot of them have lived their life and they was blind to the works of God, to the to, to, to his wonders and what he have done in the past, in ancient time and throughout the century. And a lot of them have become atheists and say there is no God. And they have died in that atheist, atheist state and gone to the grave without reading the holy word of God to know about his wonderful works, about his wonderful creation and his, and his wonderful righteous acts that he have done for the children of Israel in the wilderness, his righteous acts that he have done in the land of Egypt. On behalf of the children of Israel and all these things, they never heard them because they never read the word of God. Because it was lie and told them that the Bible is a white man book. So they never read the Bible. A matter of fact, they throw the Bible in the dumps and the garbage dump. Right? And never read the Bible and proclaim there was atheists and synastics and they die in that state and gone to the to the grave. Millions of them. And they have never known about the wonderful works of God, the acts of God, about the Creator God. And the history of God working with his people, the children of Israel. And the acts that God continues to do to the church of God, the body of Christ on the earth. Mm -hmm. Sad to say, a lot of people is going through that same state after this day. Because they have the atheist community. They don't believe in the Bible. And they believe everything in the Bible is, is a Nancy story. Because they say there is no God. But Psalms 14 say they are fool in the south say there is no God. So everything that is written in the Bible about God, they say is false. And a lot of them is dying every day and going to the grave, atheists. 
Yes, that's the sad reality about it, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Thy way, O God, thy way, the righteous ways of God, the holy ways of God. Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God as our God? Who is God is great? There is no one that is greater than God. He is the creator. But you know, it's Christ and the Father make up the God. There's two beings they're talking about here, Christ and the Father. Because Jesus Christ is the God of the Old Testament. Right? Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary, in this holy temple sanctuary. Who is a great God as our God? There's none greater as God. You see? Thou art the God that doest. You see? God is the God that doest wonders. That's why he's the God of signs, wonders, and miracles. Because he do wonders by his great supreme power. He bring wonders to pass. Yes, he bring wonders to pass. Mm -hmm. That buffer our minds. Not only my mind, but buffer the minds of the angels too. Uh-huh. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Thou art the God that does wonders. Thou hast declared thy strength power, the supreme strength power of God, amongst the people. God is showing mankind, talking about God is declaring his strength, his supreme power to mankind, showing to the mankind that he is the supreme God and supreme power lies in his hands. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, you want all mankind to know that, that supreme power belongs in his hands and supreme power belongs to he. And all power belongs to He. God wants mankind to have that knowledge. Yes, every man that born and come in this world, God I want no man to be ignorant of that. Uh huh. But sadly, sadly, millions of people are ignorant of that. Because millions of people do believe that there is no God. So they are ignorant about the power of God. You understand? Thou has we thou has thou has with thou has with his arm, the holy right arm of God, redeemed thy people. Yes, God is a savior and God is redeeming his people. He's saving, he is saving his people. All those that look to God as a creator and turn to God, he, he is redeeming them, saving them for his honor and his glory. And he have redeemed the children of Israel, saved the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. And bring them into the wilderness to go and possess the land of Canaan. He redeemed them, he saved them out of Pharaoh's hand. And many other instances he have redeemed them out of the hands of the enemies. The children of Israel. With the book of Judges, you see, many times when the children of Israel sin, he sent them into captivity. And these Gentile nations was ruling over them. And when they cry out to God, he raised up saviors like Gideon, like Samson and many other men to redeem them, save them out of the hands of these people's ruling them to set them free that's why God is a deliverer he's a redeemer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to redeem thy people the sons of Jacob the sons of Jacob that's the children of Israel his chosen people and Joseph Joseph, the children of Israel, Sila. Because remember, Jacob's son is Joseph. That's the one that's so long in Egypt. It all speaking there about the Jewish people, the children of Israel. The children of Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel. And the others. The water saw thee, O God, God of hosts, God of Israel. The water saw thee, they were afraid. Water, they symbolize people. I'm not speaking about the literal water. The literal water doesn't show fear to God because the literal water cannot fear. That's symbolic. Water they symbolize people. They were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds pour out water. Well, that the clouds, the water is in the clouds, and when the burst of the clouds, the water keep coming down back to the earth. You know, the clouds pour out pour out water that rain the sky sent out his song his arrows also 
went abroad with the voice of thy thunder. You see the voice of thunder. In the book of Job, it described thunder as the voice of God. The rolling of the thunder, the noise in the heavenly bodies of their thunder. And a lot of people is frightened by thunder. Because when there's loud thunder and making loud noise in heaven, a lot of people just get frightened. I want to run inside, I don't want to come out. Even the animals just get frightened because of that long noise that is taking place in the heavens above. Thunder. Mm -hmm. Thunder in the heavens. Thunder was in the heavens. Yes, it's in heaven. The thunder is taken in the heaven, in the heaven above. The lightning lighten the world. Yes, God lighten, lighten the earth. Because when God, when the lightning flash, the flashes are the lightning, lighten up the atmosphere a bit, and it flash on the houses and the land and the grass. That's why a lot sh short time. That's why short time, and then the lightning stop, and then it flash again, and it lighten. The heavens are lighten above, the buildings and the earth beneath is lighten. So, and that is taking all place all over the world. So the world is being enlightened by the lightning and flashes that take place in the heavens above and reflected on the earth beneath. Right? Right now as I speak, can you hear? You hear? You hear thunder. You see thunder. Because right now rain is falling in Trinidad and Tobago. Republic of, in the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. And I speak a little thunder. You hear the thunder rolling above. And a little while ago I see a little slight flashes of lightning. You see? Flashes of lightning. The voice of thy thunder was in the heavens. Thy lightning lightened the world. The earth trembled and shook. But the trembling of the earth, that is called talk, talking about earthquakes. But when earthquake takes place, they tremble in the earth. And tremors, they, they tremble in the movements of the earth. Right? Shook. Thy way is in the sea waters, and thy path in the deep great waters, and thy footsteps are not known. Thou leadest thy people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Yes, because Moses and Aaron, the two brother and their sister Miriam, is from the tribe of Levi, the priestly tribe. And God chose Moses. God chose Moses as a servant and lead Moses to go down into Egypt to say unto Pharaoh, Thus said I am, thus, I, thus said I am that I am God, set my people Israel, let my people go. Because Mo God used Moses as a servant. Moses was a prophet of God. And God was using Moses to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt, in Canaan, in the wilderness of Sinai, to go and possess the promised land that he had promised to their forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the covenant that he made with, it, with Abraham and established it with Isaac and Jacob to give them that land of Canaan as an everlasting possession and everlasting inheritance of the turn of Israel. So Moses was a prophet. His brother Aaron was a prophet, but also the first high priest of Israel. And their sister Miriam was a prophetess from the tribe of Levite. And God was using Moses to lead his people like a flocks of sheep in the wilderness. Thou leadest thy people Israel like a flock of by the like a flock. The people into flocks of sheep, people by flocks by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Because, because Aaron was the high priest. And Moses and Moses were the brother of Aaron. So God was working through Moses and Aaron to lead his people from Egypt into the wilderness of Sinai, right? And heading forward to possess the land of Canaan that he had promised to give to who? To Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the descendants after Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which is Moses and the children of Israel in Egypt to go and possess the land of Canaan. So God was leading his people, right? By the hand of Moses and Aaron. Right? 
So it's very important that you know that, boys and girls. Okay, well, we have completed Psalms, Psalms, um, Psalm 77. I was happy to join you all, brothers and sisters, in the Psalms, and to read the Psalms, and to share these things with you all in the Psalms. Share these things with you all in the Psalms. Perhaps, I just want to state early o'clock in the Psalms, perhaps as I go through the 150 Psalms, I might revisit the Psalms again and do and do a double on it. Go by each Psalms and do a next video on each Psalms. But I will but I will title the Psalms, title it different, but still but still number each Psalms in the right number still. Right? So let us leave and see how let us let us leave that for the time. Right? <laughs> So, but I just want to mention it early o'clock, right? Okay. Well, happy to join you all, boys and girls. This is the ending of the reading of um, Psalms 77. Psalm 77. Ooh, Psalm 77, right? Psalm 77. So I hope that you all will read the Psalms for yourselves and ask God for the understanding. Let's all take my word for it. Open up the Bible for all your own self, personally, and brother does over the Bible. Uh, I began reading it too. I began reading the Bible from the historical record of the Bible, the original King James Bible, from Genesis to Revelation. <clears throat> from Genesis to Revelation. Well, once again, I, want to, I just want to say, may God bless the human family that he has brought into in the existence for his eternal honor and his glory and save mankind save mankind from sin death and destruction i just want to say in this video i just want to i hope that the war in israel will come to an end very soon because this bloodshed is on on both sides the suffering is on both sides both on the palestinian side and the jewish side ladies and gentlemen so the suffering is on both sides and as we could see now the palestinians are in a high price, uh, especially the men, especially the women and children, because there's more than 20, 26,000 Palestinian, mainly where men and many women and children have dead in that war, in that seven month war with, between Hamas and Israel. And, and, and more is Palestinian women and children are dying, also men too, but the majority is women and children. So the Palestinian and people are paying a high price. We could all see it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want you all to, to the term with is used. I don't want you all to be like the hush, the ostrers, they say, the big bird that bury bury head in the sun that you're not seeing. Lord, let us not bury our head in the sun. Concerned on that, let us look and see what taking place in Palestine. So we will not do like the ostrers, right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. But I just want to say, God have a wonderful plan for mankind. And for the Jewish people and for the Arab people. Yes, because when Jesus Christ returned back to this earth, I will do a video specifically with that, but I just want to throw this in the mix and add this to this video. But I'll do a video specially concerning that by itself. Apart from this video, but I just want to mention it here. Not not everything in details, but part of but part of it. Right. Um when Jesus Christ returned back to this earth. Um, all the haters of the Jews, all the, all the people who hate the Jews all over the world, but especially in the Middle East, like the state of Iran, the Hutus, Hezbollah, Hamas, when Jesus Christ comes, what you all think he will do with it? Do with all these people, the state of Iran, who want to wipe out the state of Israel, Hamas, Hezbollah, and the Pox. And and the and um the ax and um the Hutus and all these Arab people who's against the Jewish people. What do you think Jesus Christ will do? Destroy all of them? No, not at all. What I'm going to say, a lot of the even Jewish people when even the Jews in Israel, a lot of them when they accept what I say. And even a lot of the Arab people the palestinians and arabs when they see this video they will like what i'm going to say a lot of them 
But that's still not a saved because they, they of the self can't change that reality because that is, that is exactly what Jesus Christ will do. You think he will destroy Hamas when Jesus Christ comes? No. He will save Hamas. What do you think he will do with Hezbollah when he comes in Lebanon? You think he will destroy them with all the bomb they're bombing up in the northern part of Israel? No, he will save um, Hezbollah when, when Jesus Christ comes again. And what about the state of Iran with the policies to wipe, this, to wipe out the state of Israel? You think he will destroy all the Iranis when he comes, Persia? He will save them. And the Hutus and Yemen, see now the capital, who is stuck in the ship something in the Gulf of Aden. And all these different groups that link to Iran, the, the proxy groups in, in, in Iraq and in Syria. When Jesus Christ comes, what do you think he will do? He will destroy all of them? No, he will save all of them. Will he ban all of them from entering the city of Jerusalem when Jesus Christ comes? And say, all the haters are the Jews. All they was fighting. All the, all the Hezbollah and Hamas. And... and um, the Hutus and you and all over all and these different groups in um, Iraq and Syria, the axis of evil um, resistance that the proxy group that Iran control and the state of um, Iran, all of them. You think Jesus Christ will say to all of them, "All you not allow in the city of Jerusalem," because all those fighting the Jews, my Jewish people to wipe them over all these years before I come. I was in heaven taking a note and watching all what all is doing, but I don't hear now. You see, I come down with all the like holy angels. Look, Michael at my right hand. Look, Gabriel at my left hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't leave them up in heaven. I bring them down with me, the like holy angels. Uh, this is just an example, yeah? You think Jesus Christ will tell them all they're not allowed to come in the city of Jerusalem? And I don't want all you to come in the city of Jerusalem to associate with the house of Judah, with the Jews, because all your hatred against them. But you see the aberrate, you see all the tribes in South America? They are allowed to come in the city of Jerusalem. You see all the, um, please help me, huh? all the, 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 the aborigines in Australia? They are allowed to come here. You see all the, all the Indian tribes in North, in North America, Canada, United States of America and the Tomahawks and the Cherokee Indians in, in um, Canada, they are allowed to come in the city of Jerusalem to mingle with the Jews, the house of Judah. But all of you, Shiite Muslim and Sunni Muslims who are haters at the turn of the Jews, all are not allowed to come here. You see all the people in the Caribbean, Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados and Jamaica, they are allowed to come here. You see all the people in South America and Latin and Central America, they are allowed to come in the city of Jerusalem. My city, holy city, Mount Zion, Jerusalem, to mingle with the, with the turn of Judah. But all of you, who is this right next door? In the Gaza Strip, right? All you are not allowed to come in the city of Jerusalem. To mingle with the Jewish people. You all you think Jesus Christ will say that to them? To Hamas and Hezbollah? And the Hutus and the state of Iran. Mm -hmm. And these boxes, boxy group that Iran supporting in Syria and Iraq. Babylon, Iraq. You think he will say that to all of them? <laughs> he will not say that to any of them. I ever can say that. Because he will allow Hezbollah, Hamas, the Hutus, the state of Iran. Mm -hmm. Who so want to wipe out the Jews? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He will invite all of them in the city of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. To do what? To fight with the Jewish people? So he could sit down on the throne and enjoy that? When he in heaven here, join that. You enjoy it when he, he, he enjoy that when he come down here? All they have a wrong. He came down here to put it to an end. To put the fight into an end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way Jesus Christ is coming down here. To bring peace to the world. Yeah, to bring all the wars to an end and all the civil war to an end. Mm -hmm. So mankind will live in peace with one another. So that's why you invite Hamas, Hezbollah, the state of Iran, the Irani, pe Irani people, and these proxies group that in Syria and the Iraq, and the, don't forget the Hutus in Sina and Yemen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
who supported Hamas right now against the Jewish people. He will invite all of them in the city of Jerusalem to do what? To hold hands with the Jewish people. Mm -hmm. To sing, dance and play in Jerusalem. Not to fight with one another. Uh -huh. Not to fight with one another, ladies and gentlemen. And I know a lot of the Jewish people who, here in, who will see this video when I post it on my social media platform, the internet, on my YouTube account, a lot of you will despise this video. And so look, say, what look, he, look what he Hamas do to us. Look right now, um, the leader of Hezbollah, you see, bombing up the northern part of Israel, a hundred thousand Jews can go back to the homes. Mm -hmm. Because Hezbollah, is bombing up the northern part of Israel. A lot of them is out of the home now, and for months they're thinking when they will go back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you tell me, Eric Braxton, that Jesus Christ, when he turned to the earth, he, Hamas will be, he will invite in his Hezbollah to come in Jerusalem to shake hands with we. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And look what the Hutus are doing. They don't want no Israeli ship pass through. The Gulf of Eden. You see, they're shooting up the ship and all these things because they're supporting Hamas. And you telling me that the people are Yemen, who is one of the proxy group of Iran, Jesus Christ will bring them in Jerusalem. That is exactly what this little Christian boy is saying. Yeah, and all, all the Jewish people who will despise this video, my brothers and sisters in Jerusalem, is nothing you all can do about it. So that apply to you all. And all, all the Arab people in the Arab world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who hate the Jews and saying Jesus Christ will bring me in Jerusalem to hold hands with these people that we hate? That is exactly what I heard Roxanne saying. And there's nothing you all can do about it neither. My Arab brothers and sisters in the Arab world. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you all. Only what, only what the fight to go on forever amongst the Jewish people. Well, Jesus Christ coming to put it to a stop. So all you, you bring all all the whole hands together. Yeah. All you want the fight to go on and the conflict to go on forever. Yeah. Well, all you went see that. Jesus Christ coming to put it to an end. And I'm glad he coming to do that. To put the fight with Israel and Hamas to an end. I'm glad that Jesus Christ is coming. To put the fight to an end with Hamas and Israel to an end. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that Jesus Christ is coming to put an end to the fight with the state of Israel, the state of Iran and Israel to an end. Yeah, I'm glad he's coming to do that. So all all the out there who want to see that going forever, wishful thinking all on your part. That is my message to all you. So all you can despise Eric Braxton, how much all you want. Or tell others, don't watch my video. Mm -hmm. This is my message to the world. This is my message to my Jewish brothers and sisters, not only in the motherland, but all the Jews all over the world. This is my message not only to the, to the Arab people that is in the Arab world, but all the Arab people who are all over the world. This message for all you too. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ will bring it about. Jesus Christ will bring it about. Jesus Christ will bring it about. Yes, <laughs> he will bring it about. <laughs> so when he invite all of them in Jerusalem to hold hand with the Jewish people, not to fight, yeah, but to sing, dance, and play in unity and love with one another. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what Jesus Christ is going to accomplish. And more than that. And more than that, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. But as I said, I mentioned it. I mentioned this video, but that is a video I will do specifically dealing with that. And more details, more details will be added to that video when I decide to record that video. I can't talk everything in this video because this video is more on Psalms seventy-seven. But I say, as I come to the end of Psalms seventy-seven. And I see I little have a little extra time, my man. I decided to speak that little, add into this, in this video. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about, ladies and gentlemen. That is what it's about. Oh well, brothers and sisters, we have come to an end of the video, and I just say 
that when Jesus Christ comes, he will come he coming to save mankind. Not only he not only coming to save the house of Judah, he's not only coming to save the ten lost tribes of Israel, but he's coming to save the whole human family for his own and his glory. And to make this world a better world for the whole of mankind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what Jesus Christ is coming. Yeah. That's what he's coming to do. Mm -hmm. Only do we believe that? Oh, well, I believe that. The Bible, the Bible is showing mankind that. Mm -hmm. And God wants all mankind to understand that and see that and know that and understand that. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, once again, as I take my departure, may God bless mankind from this day forth and forevermore, and save mankind from this day forth and forevermore. Save mankind from may God bless mankind from this day forth and forevermore, and save mankind from this day forth and forevermore. Mm -hmm. Because the only one to save man is God, or no? Uh -huh. Don't look to the moon or stars above to save man, or no? They can't save man, or no? Uh -huh. It is God is the one to save man because He make man, so He's the only one to save mankind. Uh -huh. So shalom peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye bye my friends.